Alive. <laughs> what up, people? Bless. We outside. <laughs> bang, bang. Why not do it? More life. What's up? Let's get it. New earth, new chop, new flow. You already know. Yeah, man. The unstoppable. Top chopper. Jeff Pesos. <laughs> Joe Bolstein. What up? Riley the boy. What I deal with? Bang, bang. Goddess I am. Let's go. Respect everyone. Big up. Much love, goddess. Be the god. What up, G? Ow. Riley. Big up, Riley. Love my Italian. More life. Bang, bang. Uh-huh. Giovanni. You don't know already, you know? I told you. J Bands, Wagwan, there man, much love fam. Storia, yes, I am now live. <laughs> bang, bang. Yeah, Giovanni, Jeff Pesos in the building. <laughs> Big up Storia once again. Wow, look, of course, always. Yo, you know how we do. Yeah, man, I told you to come outside. Tempest, big up, much love. <laughs> More live, C Step, Wagwan. Oh, no doubt, be the god lit, lit, lit. Check that out. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Watch it after the live, though. Surrogates is dope. It's, it's going to blow your mind, but that's what's going on. Wayne, what up? Juicy Island, walk on. Bang, bang. Swaga, what up? <laughs> Big love, Juicy Island mix. Bang, bang. Let's see what we got here. Um. Oh, no doubt, Juicy. Much love. Namaste. Yeah, man. I'm, glad, I'm happy you're glad to see my face. <laughs> Mila, what up? <laughs> More life, people. Let's go. So you see the title, family, transmutation. All right? Transmutation. Right? Frequency. Exchange. All right? That's what they've been using against you for a long time. Use food stamps. What up, Joseph? Chucky Dalton, Wagwan, Black Jack Johnson, the notorious Elijah M. I'll give you, like keys to breaking these fucking spell controls right so these fucking uh, uh powers that used to be they use alchemy right so they took away alchemy and gave you chemistry and biology and all that bullshit when all of that used to just fall under alchemy all that shit used to fall under alchemy fam right natural science no doubt juicy zolja much love family oh you mean man bang bang lady lagrata up ow so check it family we are talking about alchemy. They've been using alchemy to transmute your energy. And actually, they've been transmuting their energy from themselves into you while siphoning your energy. You get what I'm saying? So the way they feel, the way the powers that be feel or used to be feel, fam, they feel anger, resentment, fear, everything because they're being hunted by the angels and hunted down by the Most High. All right, and they don't have no place in the universe. They feel lonely, they feel sad, they feel depressed. I'm telling you this. That's how the wicked really feel. But they push that energy onto you while stealing your joy. You understand me? And they do that through alchemy, through transmutation. All right? Through spell work. Basically by keeping you trapped in the in the in the construct that you're currently in in situations like this. Uh pulling the rug rug out from under you laying off thousands of people just cutting their jobs right before christmas and things like that all right they just cause mass confusion and sadness you know wars and stuff like that cause you to be off your squares you can't find a center a meridian i am angel yes no doubt the notorious big up bang you see what i said so they, they they're all they always feel off balance so that's how they want you to feel they always feel empty that's how they want you to feel right they always feeling hurt and sad that's how they want you to feel right what up sean Exactly. Tempest up. Is it? Big Sue up. Um, so yeah, they 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 want to switch the energetic flow. They want you to feel like how they feel while they try to steal your joy and your your sense of well being. Okay? So like I said, they do that just through society and through all the bullshit, all the games they play, you know, naturally. Right? <laughs> it's a little squirrel. And um Alright, so what we got to do is reverse that. See, and so they set up an arena. They set up a atmosphere where their energy is pervasive. It's the most powerful. At least it was, right? Because of the reverse spin, everything put backwards. You know, fucking with the algorithm, covering up the crystal grid. You know, hiding the truth, all that type of stuff. Family, they they cover up reality, what's real, the truth. And the truth is that 
This is life. We're life, not them. All right. The truth is we're free and sovereign, not slaves. But they're trying to hide that truth. Right. So it's imperative that we study that alchemy and we learn to transmute energies. All right. And we learn to to turn lead to gold. Find, see, it? we we find the what you call it, the philosopher's stone. Okay, and the philosopher's philosopher's stone is the key element, the catalyst for the transmutation process. All right, but the the, the philosopher's stone they always depict it as something you have to try to search for outside there, like it's some special object or some type of chemical or liquid, but it's not. The philosopher's stone is like it's like your pineal gland, right, and your pituitary gland when everything's working together in harmony inside your body and all your like we call it your hormones and chemicals and shit when everything is balanced and then they mix right okay and then they mix and coat around your pineal gland that's the philosopher's stone when you have everything in balance and everything is alkaline and flowing how it's supposed to flow you create the philosopher's stone within yourself and you transmute from being lead to gold because it's not about turning actual lead to gold. What up, Apollonia? Bang, bang, much love. It's not about turning actual lead to gold. That's easy. That's just rearranging molecules, you know what I'm saying? This is about trans transmuting our energy, our fallen energy, back to its higher state, all right? And that's the type of alchemy we got to study. So you don't necessarily have to have, like, a fancy laboratory in your house because you have this. This is your laboratory. Nature is your laboratory. All right, you can go outside and do things to work on yourself to create the, um, you know, that flow that'll help, you know, re-energize your philosopher's stone, restart your spark. So, little guy, <laughs> what do you want? What can I do for you? You keep trying to come closer. You want to get you some water? What's up, man? Look, 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 look. Check this out, man. Look. Ah, you ran. You like, yeah. Yo. He's literally standing up like this. He's like standing up like a person. <laughs> He's like looking at me. He's standing up looking at me like this. water around here. There's a water supply around here. Uh, I got some water or something. I don't know. It's all good. He'll be alright. Ah, uh, bang. There's a little squirrel. <laughs> There's a little squirrel. He just can't stood up. Like, he's just standing up looking at me. Like, right there. He's just uh, standing up. When, when I tried to film him, he ran off. Hold on. <laughs> right, Tosh. I'm telling you. <laughs> Hold on. Tell us. There was a G3 geomagnetic geo, geo storm. Yup, yup. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right, family. Remember we are talking about the coronal mass ejections? So there's like a huge solar storm they see on the sun, right? And they say we just got blasted by CMEs. And family, remember the green skies I showed you? They say it's from that. Now they're showing it again. Another another set of skies. I don't know, remember exactly where. I didn't read. I didn't read the whole thing. But another set of skies just turned green. Family. This time it's bright green. The whole fucking sky. And they're saying it's cause of the CMEs. Yeah. I'm like, all right. CMEs, my ass. That's the black sun, yo. <laughs> That's the black sun. Family. There's so much stuff going on right now, yo. There's so much going on. But this is part of the al alchemical work. All of this, all these rays, the CME, they want to call them CMEs, whatever you want to call it. I call it code, energy, all right? Just bursting through, okay? Let's follow the yellow brick road to the center because this is what's happening. It's, it's, it's once you could tap into these energies coming through, your body's filtering right. What up, Nina Simone, ocean lover, what up? Bang, bang. Steph, Wagwan, once, once, once you can... um tap into the energy coming family and filter it and ride the wave you're gonna 
evolve up because you're literally being given the design for the next state of evolution, of organic evolution. The next step in our organic evolution, that's what you've been given. The Jabberwockies who are going to become the deviants, they took the next step in transhumanist bullshit. A devolution, they went backwards. We're going forwards, we're getting the new codes that's going to write on our DNA and tell us what, how to advance. Just like the mRNA, that's what mRNA does. Just look at this as another form of mRNA. Look at all this cosmic rays, all this radiation, all the, the crystal grid energy. Just look at that as an mRNA from the organic side. Telling your DNA, yo, it's time to advance, it's time to wake up. Niggas need more power, niggas need to do shoot lightning, whatever the fuck. I'm telling you. And this is part of our alchemical process, right? And there's a thing called equivalent or equal exchange, right? Equivalent exchange in alchemy. Seeing? So to give, you gotta, to get, to get, you gotta give. You have to give something to get something. You understand me? So basically like a sacrifice. So what, what would you be sacrificing in order to transmute into something higher? You mean trans, you're, you're sacrificing your old self, all your old ways. Yeah, you're sacrificing your old self, like the phoenix burning up in its own, burning up in the fire and then rising up out of its own ashes. That's the sacrifice. That's the, that's the equivalent exchange. You're going to give up your old self, your old body, all your old ways, everything, to become something new. You understand me? So that means you're going to be tapping into a whole new flow. You're not going to be the same person you used to be. And once you start chopping on the pattern, guess what happens? You lock yourself into that circuit, into that flow naturally. It's not nothing you got to work at too hard. It's a natural thing. You see what I said? And then boom. You're gonna just start feeding off with the, 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 the um, codes that's coming through, the energy coming through. Your cells are gonna feed, your DEA, DNA is gonna feed. And like I said, it's gonna activate your natural um, evolution cycle, your organic evolution. Cause you're not, this is not where you're supposed to be stuck at. We've been stuck here for too long, right? In this low mindset. We're getting the kickstart now, family, that spark we need to take us to the next level in our evolution. That's what's going on right now on Earth. And that's how the lines are being drawn. You're either gonna go to the next level of your evolution, transmute and become the golden ones of the golden age, or you're gonna fall into deviance and have to go into darkness. Big up Apollonia, bang. E, what up? I am Angel, no doubt. Wow, look. Uh-huh, definitely, you already know what it is. New Earth, what do you call it? Uh, new Year, everything. Everything's fresh right now, right? all in the garden family so this is what we're talking about is transmutation the transformation of lead to gold we're lead we're dense heavy non-conductive now we're going to go back to being gold crystal right all that conductive shit absorbing sunlight and able to absorb sunlight filter sunlight what they call that photosynthesis we're going to be able to just eat the sun again be like a crystal golden conductor all right you're your fucking merkaba fully activated these are the codes you're getting. You're getting the codes to go back to your original ways of life, your original self, before you were cut off, before your DNA was manipulated by these wickeds. You hear me? You're going to go back to your righteous flow. Yeah, man, back to your angelic form. Straight transmutation, and that's what they've been trying to stop. And they did stop it in the people who took the Jabberwocky. They retarded their growth. And remember what the word retard means, family, it means to hold back. So they retarded the growth, their expansion, they retarded their, um, their evolution. That's not for us. See, if you took that, that's what happened to you. That's what they did. That's how they, that's the only way they win. Okay, the more people they get to not expand and evolve, that means you stay stuck with them. Right, they own your DNA. So whatever judgment they have to face, wherever they're going, you're gonna go with them. You're on their waveform. You signed up with them. You see I me? Mean? That's all. That's all the way. Only way they win. We win once we stay on the righteous path. That's it. You're gonna just you. You naturally evolve up. That's what they've been trying to stop. They need you to stay stuck. Seeing it's like if you're with someone and you're about to go on a trip and they can't go, and they're trying to stop you from making your flight. Just look at it like that. They just can't go. And they're jealous and bad mind that you're going on some fat ass tropical vacation. 
You wanna go live your best life and do and, 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 and have a great time. They're jealous, they're fucking mad, so now they're trying to stop you, make you miss your flight. That's all, and they would only win if you miss your flight. You understand me? And they don't actually win anything. They're bad mind motherfuckers just glad to see you not make your flight. That's how the wicked win, family. Remember, they're goofy. There's no actual winning. They win when you lose. See? And that's it. So as long as you don't take anything to block your ascension, your inevitable ascension, because it's not something, I told you, it's not something you have to practice or do anything. It's your natural cycle. It's not even all magical and all that crazy shit. It's actually just normal. It's just the natural cycle. Energy can't be created or destroyed, just transformed. It's constantly transforming. Change is the only constant. So you got to think about it. If you're always constantly changing, what does that mean? That means you're always shifting. You're always becoming something different, something new. But you can become something new in a bad way or a good way depending on your focus. Okay? So that's what they've been doing. Energy has to constantly transform, but they've been just keeping you in one... Like, put it like that. They've been keeping you in one place. Right? While you've been transforming. But every time you transform, you transform into an image they project. While holding you in place. See, and so now that you've broken away from their pattern, you're going to start doing your, trans your energetic transformation in the natural, organic pattern that was set for you, not in their pattern. So instead of you being dumbed down and becoming stupider with every generation, you're going to get smarter now. You're going to start growing now, expanding, right? You're going to do what, what they call it um, when you become civilized and all that shit. That's what's going to happen. Instead of being dragged down in, in, in your animalistic ways, right? What up, can, uh, uh, Cotton Candy? Bless up, ma. Bang. Exit the stage, Wagwan. Outlaw soldier. Big up. Bang, bang. Yeah. So instead of being pulled down into a deviant shift, you're going to move up. Or instead of being stuck on a cycle like this, on a loop like this, where your energies just keep re being recycled over and over and over again without any real expansion, now you're going to be able to expand like you're supposed to in the pattern. They've been holding you back. 111, bless family. You see what I said? They've been, El Jas Sun, Wild Guan, fam, bang. See? Right, e, e, e Insight, bless. That's how we keep it over here, yo. Make sure it's overstandable for everyone. You see me? Ka family, I'm telling you, the, the, that's the only way the wicked win is if you don't expand. If you don't, if you don't become the golden child like you're supposed to, that's how the wicked win. You see me? You have to become as it was in the beginning, so in the end, you have to become your original self. Break through the barriers. And it's really simple. It's just by living natural, being real, being organic, okay? For real. That's, it's really simple. And when you're doing your ceremonies and this and that, your own personal ceremonies and things, you infuse them with your own love energy. You start creating your own mantras. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. You're at that level now. You can create your own sigils. The same way you see these sigils in these books and stuff and you follow all these, this, that, and the third. Those cats did that because they tapped into what I'm showing you right now. You tap in now and you create a fucking sigil that someone else can draw and tap. You use that to tap in. Because you're that powerful and your energetic is put into that. Your code is put into that. So when a person of the right mind sees it, it activates them just the same way. These are the levels you're at right now. These are the levels you're at, okay? This is what you're training to do. You're not just training for so, so you could forever be following everybody else's path like that. This is for you to carve out your own path. You see what I say? Yeah, man. Find your vortex and your spiral and expand because... The more is the merrier. The more the merrier. The more teachers, the better. You get me? Evolute, bless. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> Peace by flash. Let's go. Up, up, up. Back to the future. Lit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And, and happy Friday, by the way, everyone. Bless. Yeah, I do remember what day it is from earlier. <laughs> Lit. <laughs> right? So, guys, um, where we at now? Swaga, what up? Slaughter Queen, Ashe. Yeah, so family that like i think based on what we've seen so far going on in the in the world this shit is the, the physical part of this shit is basically pointless like this worldly shit is pointless it's pointless 
Inflation's about to sink the whole this is fucking pointless. Money doesn't even have a point, you know? <laughs> the US dollar is the new shit coin. It's like <laughs> it's all pointless, you know what I mean? If you're not on some evolutionary spiritual growth, it doesn't make any sense. Cause that's all that's gonna save you is your right mind. Alright? Cause when you see all this shit crumbling around you, if you're not balanced within yourself, family, like I tell you guys all the time, you're gonna be sucked down the toilet drain with the rest of this shit. Cause mentally you're gonna break. You're not gonna be able to handle seeing the degradation of society and the people around you and the fact that you might be fucked up you know you might not be able to handle it you see and all your all your faith and hope was put into this world and now you're seeing that it's just it was all one big shit show the whole time it's one big facade it was bullshit house of cards just a fucking lie let's just put it what it is a lot of people aren't going to be able to handle that truth you have to be able to handle that family just come to the realization that Everything outside yourself does not fucking matter. It was all bullshit. Don't worry about it. You see me? It was about it was a test to see where you were at. Just to see where you are at. How you would handle situations. You see me? It's not about any of this worldly treasures and what you made and how far you got in society. This society's bullshit, bro. You could get far in this society doing the most fuckery. That doesn't mean that doesn't mean you accomplished anything. Not spiritually. You're still a fucking infant. Stuck. You see me, I said? You're gonna have to do this cycle over and over and over and over again. Imagine, you know what I'm saying? You live this life. You're like a, a, a Jacob Rothschild, you know? You make trillions of fucking dollars and da 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 da. But you can't be karma, nigga. You know what I mean? You fuck around and you come back your next life as a cockroach. <laughs> Just based on your shitty attitude. That's what, because this is the thing energy can't be created or destroyed, right? So when the energy transference has to go down, if you don't all right you you have to have keys you have to have keys and codes to enter certain frequency patterns certain frequency ranges all right so if once you do certain low level shit i don't give a fuck who you are what you feel like you're gonna come back the next life you're gonna only be able to access a certain frequency range of creatures that's how come they call karma they're like reincarnation all that shit it's just, it's just energy. Energy can't be destroyed, and you always, and if the consciousness chooses a vessel, you can, you, you can choose a vessel, but you can only choose a vessel from when the range in which you were operating. <laughs> you understand? So if you were moving like a parasite, like a cockroach, that's what happens. You spend your whole life, oh, you're the big boy making all these billions, and the next round, the next cycle, where you have to go because you're gonna have to go through it. We move forward, we chopping forward, we're going another round, doing a whole another shit. You're going to have to come back and do this 3D bullshit again. What you think? <laughs> nigga, nigga going to be a fucking a dust mite. You know what I'm talking about? Real. You come back as a fucking leech or a fucking, uh, what a tick. Seriously, in a dog's balls. You going <laughs> And you got to go through that whole energetic cycle, like, again. Like, it's serious shit. Serious shit, and that's if they're lucky enough to even have a soul. Some of these fuckers don't even have that. When they turn off, they just turn off, and there's just nothing, literally. Because those are the NPCs, fam. They they don't. They're just automatons. So there's no conscious soul. There's no individual consciousness. These are the ones that have no internal dialogue, fam. Right? <laughs> when they turn off, they're just off like a toaster. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> and those are the ones who tell you like oh no you know when you die you just die you have no soul you just die that, that, but it's true but it's for them it doesn't go it's not for everybody it's just like when people say oh you know we came from monkeys and this and that I'm like yeah you're right you did come from monkeys you did that is not for everybody but you did <laughs> facts you think not everybody's a fucking splice you know what I'm talking about not everybody's a splice but you are like once someone acknowledges it you know that's who they are they're like oh shit yeah, we came from monkeys. That means that in their bloodline, they know they came from a monkey. Don't argue with them. Don't try to argue evolution with them. Be like, yeah, you're right. You did come from a monkey, but don't tell me I did. I, I'm sure you did. I could tell by how dumb you are in your bloodline. <laughs> a bunch of hairless apes. <laughs> Fucking knuckle draggers, right? You see what I'm saying, family? They know who they are. And motherfuckers be like, oh, you know, when you die, you just die. It's all over. There's nothing. That's an NPC. He knows. He ain't got no soul. Motherfucker don't even dream. Anybody who dreams or has a lucid fucking dream or even anything close to that, you know that there's more to it than this. You, you just know, you know what I mean? But for a person who's, did you, when you go to sleep, they're just dead. It's like they died. <laughs> they're not going to be able to tap into that. 
So because that's what they are. See, everybody deals with things from their own level, but they want to lump everybody up as the same thing, but we're not all the same. Fuck that. How the fuck would that be possible? No way. Hell no. I'm not like these fucking knuckleheads and other you. We're not, we're not like any of these Cabbage Patch kids, these fucking yamheads. Come on. Crystal Pyramids, what up? No doubt, Apollonia. Well, lit. See, I'm trying. Yeah. Shit. Multi dimensional being. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's how it works when you exist multi dimensionally, man. Jeez. Oh, so lit, man. It's awesome. Mm hmm. Yeah, Ali. Yup. Just dead. They're, they're, just, they're just dead. Lights are on, but nobody's home. Mother of Dragons, what up? Uh, Peace by Flash. <laughs> yeah, man, a bunch of yamheads, fam. Cabbage Patch Kid yamheads. Mm -hmm. They don't have like they don't have a soul or internal dialogue. There's nothing there, dog. Nothing. Okay, Universal Laws. I had a vivid dream last night that a UFO came down to Earth and zapped me and turned. And I turned into an alien. I was tripping in the dream so real. And I woke up. Whoa. Bamba clad, yo. Yo, that's deep. You know what that means, right? Universal laws. You know what that means. <laughs> You're a hybrid, nigga. <laughs> You're a hybrid, boy. <laughs> that's what that means. I'm just going to tell you straight up. You're a hybrid. Mm -hmm. Universal your hybrid, but nothing wrong with it. Not it don't mean you're bad, bro. There's there, it, there's a um, there's a major hybridization program that was run by the Most High. There's nothing wrong with it. The many angels that were sanctioned to have have half half angel, half human, or whatever babies. So don't think it means don't mean you're bad, <laughs> but you're a hybrid, nigga. <laughs> For real. Don Cheddar up, oh, be the god. Yeah, man. Ali, the different blood types, the same thing. It's different blood types, different bloodlines. Straight up different. It's completely different bloodlines. Some people are human. Some people are RH negative. They don't have no monkey in them. Some people have monkey and all kind of shit. Yeah, it's, it's the, your blood type is your bloodline. That's why all the different blood types are different bloodlines, literally. All kind of different splices. That's why there's so many different blood types. The splices. TK the God, what up? Bang. No doubt, Ali. Bless. I don't even know what my blood type is. I don't even know. I just know it's a uh, royal. <laughs> it's that royal, royal Anunnaki type. Mm -hmm. mm. All these parrots, fam. Lit. All the parrots. The parakeets. Awesome. Love my Italian. Oh, I think so. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know much about the blood types like that. I don't know much about them. I just know my bloodlines. You see what I say? I ain't never really much gave a fuck about the blood types. Like the A, O, all that. I ain't never gave a fuck. I just want to know Judean blood. <laughs> what up, Mila? Up. And I said, Don Cheddar, I didn't know it was Judean blood run through my veins. That's it. That's it. Mm. Yeah, Jesse Lyrica, it is. Right around the corner. Exactly, wait, it's all good. <laughs> Positive OG. No, no doubt, I'll upload it. <laughs> no doubt, Mother Dragon's lit. <laughs> Soul creations. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know what it all means. I just know that it means it, it represents your bloodline. All right, it's your bloodline, and it's gonna show. It'll show what different type of splices you got in you. I know that. You feel me? But I don't get into all that. No doubt, cat. Kahulani, bless, lit. Yeah, it's like we gotta. Um, guys, remember at the end of the day, family. The blood just carries, the blood carries the plasma, right? Or the plasma is the blood, whatever, okay? The blood plasma, but the plasma is the power of the blood. At the end of the day, that's really what matters. Whatever you were spliced with, whatever, mix, this, that, that, 
that matters nothing at this point. Remember, spiritual wickedness in high places. And what we're dealing with is the plasma in the blood. That's where the energy is. That's the charge. It's the plasma. Your blood just carries that plasma around your body to keep you charged, that electricity all over in your body, right? That, that liquid electricity, current. The plasma is what matters, all right? Just make sure your plasma is well activated and that's all that really counts. You don't have to worry about your blood type because we all mix the fuck up at this point. You see what I said? Yeah, man, we all, it's, we all a bunch of mutts, basically. Like, if you really want to think about it, you just, just be real, you know what I mean? We're all a bunch of fucking mutts. Let's just be real. It's the fact that your blood has the plasma in it. That's what matters. I mean, your blood have life. You're not a vampire, all right? Your blood has the plasma. Jermica, it's crazy thinking back to college days that so many of my homies was donating plasma for, yo, yo, that shit is nuts. That, that's nuts to me. They, these vampires don't fucking play. They just don't play, do they? Fucking blood drives, nigga. They just out there sucking people's plasma, giving you $20 and some cookies or some shit. Dude, they are crazy. You know how much your blood is worth? Dog, you know how much your blood is worth? Like, for a thing of your blood like that, they should be giving you like 100 grand, bro. Dead serious. But that's how wicked these vampires are. That's how much they've degraded us. One little thing in your blood should be about a half a million dollars if you even were going to do that. Right, Jordan, I'm telling you. Mm-hmm, Kakarat, for real. Peace by flash, man, I'm telling you, one little thing in your blood should be like a million dollars. You know what the type of shit they do with your blood when they get it? Yeah, Ali, I mean millions, your blood. It's blood. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like, what more? They be talking about gold and all this, that. I'm like, nigga. And they want to give you $20 for your blood. Oh, son. That shit. That told you vampires or something else. Lying, the witch, and the audacity of this bitch. I'm telling you, family, they are audacious. Fucking $20 and $50 for a pint of your blood. No, bro. Then they got sperm banks and all this. It's like, where do they come up with all this shit? And, and, and you know what's nuts, fam? It's not every country has that goofy shit. Like, you know, there's no sperm banks, no blood banks, none of that. You don't have that. And everybody still seems to survive somehow. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody seems to survive. Yeah, Louis, for real. That's crazy. Yeah, Flash, it's a vampire thing. I'm telling you, fam, it's vampires. Remember we always talk about the hemophiliacs, the people whose blood doesn't clot? Like the royal family, all of them, they get cut, the blood just keeps leaking out, and they have to get a blood transfusion just to cure a little cut. It's a vampire. They're vampires. That's what you call a literal vampire. It's real life shit we're telling you. And it just so happens those same people are... The fucking Rothschilds and the royal family, the most evil motherfuckers, right? They all happen to be hemophiliacs. Like, what a fancy name for being a vampire. You know? Right, wow, well, look for real. Peace by flash, yup, I'm sure. Brendan, wow. Mm hmm, yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I don't doubt you, bro. Like, I, I know. When I talk about this shit, I'm talking about it from experience. I'm not talking about from seeing TV and just this and that. I know. I promise you, I know. They are real, I know. When I talk about reptilians, bro, I know. I'm not talking about it because of YouTube and no shit like that, fam. I fucking know. No one can tell me. Why do you think I speak with such conviction? You can't fucking troll me about it. I'll tell you, shut the fuck up. You're about to be food next. And when I tell you, you're gonna know, you, you feel it, it resonate. My shit ain't no, shit's powerful, you just know. I'm not joking. This is not a game. Yeah, all this shit is real. Everything I'm telling you is real. You know, people go missing every year. Man, just do the math. Just look, up, just look up the number of people and children that go missing every year. And then ask yourself, if you think those numbers, those same numbers, those millions of people every year that go missing, Every fucking year, like for instance, in the national parks, every year it's like 600, 700,000 people go missing. 
just in national parks where the caves are wherever you see some big caves located which are inner earth entrances to the abysmal states family hundred thousand people go missing every year same amount of fucking people you think we, we they just disappear into thin fucking air where do you guys think these people are going I told you these vampires have to hide because if you knew them and you could expose them you could take them out they're not powerful you understand me they're only powerful from hiding because they could hide and then they ambush you when you're by yourself but if we knew where they were and could see them and they were out in the open we wipe them out we have too much power we have too much things working for us but family I just ask yourself in these national parks every year all where these caves are located seeing and why do you think they're national parks they have them sealed off remember even zion came on here talking about it back on the daystar channel when we we're having a live and zion was talking about it for a while zion was big on that he's like yo the national fucking parks bro they're sacred grounds like a, like entrances to the inner earth that's why they call them national parks seal them off and no one can go in that shit like that you can't build on it or nothing you see what i said yeah and when people go in their family they go in them certain places they just go missing fuck around being the forest out there late night just you and one person you might never come back this happens to dog look at the numbers it's ridiculous and and family we're talking about people that just go completely missing off the face of the earth never to be seen again no no trace that's not normal like where in the forest are they getting lost at like no one did no dogs can't find them like you feel me you're in the forest bro it's a national park. It has a perimeter. There's only so many places you could go. Motherfucking dogs can't find a trace of them. They're gone. Apollonia, I'm telling you, Kimberly and Cali. Oh, shit. Damn, Cali, that's wild. You see? Uh-huh. You got to be careful. There's all kinds running around out there. And those are the places where they hunt. Because, you know, it's like they just want you to think shit is sweet. So you have your guard down and you don't protect yourself. You feel me? And you be in certain places, man. I'm telling you, these stories we hear about these werewolves and vampires. Nigga, family, I promise you, people didn't just make that up. People didn't just make that up. They didn't just make that up. These, these, these things have been talked about for thousands of years. It's, it's literally burnt into our psyche. So we're still making movies about them. Niggas was writing books about them first. Before there was movies. Now we still we make movies about that's how much they burnt into our psyche. You see me? These things are real. Yeah, wow, well, look, I'm telling man, they food. All those people go missing those forests. They're food in the underground, man. They got taken underground by the vampires. Look. Let me tell you. Remember earlier in the live earlier, we're talking about the the dragon, the dragon king's empire, right? What they call it, the lizard kings, the dinosaurs, right? When that empire was wiped out and them fucking remnants of the fucking lizards had to run underground, they allowed them ran underground, right? Into the caverns of the earth. That's where they went and was living and operating, okay? And those same lizards and the real lizards, in order to get back power on earth, they infiltrated your societies. Family, this shit is so mixed up with all kinds of different factions. That's, you don't even, it's so fucking nuts. Well, that's why the Most High has to step in. Family, those underground Vril lizards would come up and contact like your kings and shit and give them treasures from underground. They live underground, all kind of diamonds and shit everywhere. You understand me? In those tunnels and stuff, family, I'm telling you, it's flooded with all kinds of gems and shit. And these, they, they, they would just gather them up in bags and come up to the surface at night and to certain, uh, meet with certain kings and their priests and shit, offer them gold and stuff for access. Yeah, man, for access to certain things and certain people, for sacrifices. And then after a while, when they would get the kings corrupt enough, right, get them to break down their, their barriers, get them corrupt, they would drill them. They would use the proboscis thing that that dude talks about. It's real shit. The black worm, just like the mRNA, fam. And they put it through your eye, through your optic nerve. And they go wrap around the stem of your brain or whatever the fuck. And then and, and, and just fucking put its thoughts into your head. 
Next thing you know, it's fucking consciousness overrides your consciousness and now it's in your body and taking you over. That's what happens. That's how, that's how the lizards parasite people and take over your society. You see all your actors and shit like that and your presidents, you see they all come out with a black eye. After a while, you see all of them come out with a fucking black eye. That's the vril. It's not a joke. They all get put through the process once you sell your soul. I told you guys, you sell your soul to give some another consciousness room in your body. And it's physical, that get out shit. Yeah, man, they literally parasite you and take over your brain with the parasite worm. And that worm carries their consciousness, everything that they are. And then they go bore into your optic nerve and they take over your brain. And then the reptile's body just dies. And now his consciousness lives in you. Yeah, mother of dragons, that's real shit. It's real. You see me? Now, these, these creatures running out, of, running out of time. So they came with the jab. It's the same creatures. Like you saw how the Pfizer guy's neck is like a frog. There's these amphibious fucking reptile lizards, man. The same nomos in them. See, they came, they came with the same thing. That was a rush program. It was just a way to bite everybody real quick with the jab. Oh, fair use notice for educational purposes only. Yeah. That was a way to rush things and bite everybody one time because they're running out of time. And they need as much bodies as they can get before the conduit closed completely on them. You see what I said? So, that, that's how I go on family. But as long as you never took it, as long as you're keeping your DNA pure, you're all right. You're just going to get the supreme upgrade, the, the supreme transmutation into the golden, the golden age, the golden, you know, your golden self, right? Your higher self. And then we're just going to fucking wipe out the deviants, bro. And the ones, the ones that survive are going to have to run to the underground. Like I tell you, they have to run underground. Go live under there and do whatever the fuck they do. We don't care. No doubt files by nature. <laughs> yeah, we ain't here, Kermit. <laughs> Outlaw soldier. Uh -huh. Luis, dog, you'll get the fucking worm. Yeah, the worm that's in the worm, that mRNA worm. Yeah, they, they did a study on that shit. It's real, you'll get the worm. It's, it's, it's a parasite. You'll get, you'll get infected. You'll literally get infected. No doubt, Flash. Wow. Uh, oh, Cray Force. Oh, man. Shit, go on my website. I got all of them. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, um, fucking, I got one on there. The, the one I like the best, man, the Wormwood. The Wormwood is the absolute best parasite cleanse for me, like, that I know of. The Wormwood is crazy. That worm and it's so fucking nasty tasting. It's so disgusting. But it's the best. The wormwood does it. But most people can't handle it. They can't. They'll pretend to drink it, but they don't. <laughs> that shit, the wormwood, bro. Drink a cup of that shit once a week. Yo, you ain't gotta worry about none of that shit. I promise you. The wormwood is stupid. I stand by that shit personally. It's one of my favorites. I love wormwood. You know what I said? Rich and lavish, no doubt. I'm telling you, I, I live by that shit. Nah, it's not mugwort, JTZ. It's a totally different thing. Totally different thing. It's just called, it's just wormwood. It's a bark. Uh, Nizor, I, dude, look, this is how long, I use it once a week. I use it like once a week for a month. Once a week for a month. And then I wait a while, I wait like a few months, and I do it again. You know what I'm saying? But I do like a few month interval, but I'll do it like a month, once a week for a month. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, you grateful to you. Is that how you know it cleans your blood? It's so fucking bitter. Nigga, that shit horrible. I love it. I drink that shit down. That shit's so fucking good. I'm telling you, it cleanses it. Dog, that shit. Dog, you know anything that's bitter is good for your blood. That shit is mad. Nigga. Wormwood is also its original absinthe. Ah, there you go, Ursaba. I want to try some of that shit. I want to try the original absinthe. <laughs> Yo, I want to try that shit. I heard that shit is next level. 
I want to try absinthe. I'm not going to fucking lie. That's like some rich nigga fucking rich mystic shit. I'm telling you. No doubt, Flash. Get it. That's just lit. It's, it's fucking awesome. Wormwood is awesome. I'm not going to pretend to you guys. Wormwood. And then if you... And something... Uh, okay. And if you have like a problem with like... With like your nerves... Like your nerves are too hyper and shit. You need something to calm you down. Now that's what the lavender's for. And the violet, things like that. See, every herb has a different property to it. Seeing? And I have another one I'm gonna show y'all soon too. All right? There's the cloves that's good for your teeth and regenerating bones. But there's another one I'm gonna show y'all that I, I haven't gotten it yet. That's why I ain't talking about it yet. But I'm, when I once I get it in my hands, I'm gonna show y'all this shit. It fucking regrows bones physically regrowing bones yo crazy ashwagandha there you go family no doubt solo bang man ashwagandha's up ah you know you know what's what bro yes that ashwagandha is another one of my favorites i like that shit the ashwagandha's nice very good very good black walnut says ash comfrey Luis, you see, you, you put it out there. I, I can't, I'm not gonna, it's comfrey I was talking about, bro. Nigga, you, you, you felt it through the vortex. It's comfrey I was talking about. Comfrey, bro, they, it grows like big leaves, family, big green leaves. Yo, comfrey, boom, boom, it literally regrows your teeth. It regrows bones, regrows tissue. Anything you put it on regrows. It starts to regrow. The government don't want you knowing about that. And it's a real thing. Real herb, comfrey, that shit works. Family, yo, nature's amazing. You see, but they wanna they want us to take extra steps. Yeah, Ali Comfrey, that's the one I was talking about. I'm waiting on my I'm getting about to get something, man. I'm waiting for the drop in my hands, man. Yeah, Luis, bless. No doubt, now it's just lit. Yeah, man. Bone men, yes, mother dragons. Cloves, yes, 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 King Blocker. Yeah, man. But the Comfrey dog, yo. Yo, trust me, next level. What up, Agua? Yo, what up, Eileen? Ow! Welcome, love. <laughs> Bless. Chilling. How you doing? Creative force. Yeah, man. That's definitely. OTM, let's go. Add it. Yes, little Nikki. Don't sweat the stees. The comfy root leaves pain. Okay, the root. Okay, nice. Okay, lit. Yeah, man. But yo, comfrey. Yeah, man. Fuck with it, family. We're going to, yo, you know. Hey, you know what we're going to be like soon, family? We're going to be like those people back in the days. You know, like, back in the medieval times, the niggas had, like, their nice cottage out in the woods, and you walk in the cottage, and niggas have all kind of herbs hanging up in the kitchen and shit. That's what we're going to be like. <laughs> you walk in all kind of herbs in there, books on the fucking shelf over there, some crystals, and you know what I mean? Yeah, one of our righteous scriptures and everything. Yeah, this shit going to be lit, yo. And everything just in, in, in proper order and praises to the most high. You're gonna see the pattern and everything, fam. I'm telling you, that's what we're gonna be doing. That's our that's our destiny. Like I can see, like we're already on that path. Like I I just got a blast of a picture of that in my head just now. Like literally. <laughs> just walking into a cottage, like a sunny cottage, you know? It's sunny and like in a nice forest. You walking that bitch of herbs hanging up everywhere. Nigga like, yo, you want some tea dog? <laughs> what you want? <laughs> Bang, bang, bang. You know what I'm saying? A little marijuana growing out in the garden with some tomatoes and everything in the vineyard. Family, this is serious shit. I just got hit with that image so hard right now. You know what I mean? I said, is love. What up? You see? <laughs> yeah, Jordan, up. Don Cheddar. Wow, look. Yeah, peace. I'm telling you. Nah, like, I'm telling you, just hit me in my mind just now. It's going boom. What up, Joel? Nah, I'm telling you, Joel, that's what... <laughs> Picture it. That's what I'm saying. I'm still holding the picture right now. <laughs> Y'all know it's what? I told you, hold the image, man. Right, El Jason. Just like that. Big up solo. You see it. Juicy Island. Ah, oh, that's messed up. Go, go come in and come back out. Go out and come back in, I mean. Tan Tan, what up? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> the herb next to the callaloo. <laughs> and the cabbage. Yo, yo, family, I'm telling y'all. Have you guys been watching some of these um these uh primitive technology channels? But the real ones, not the fake ones, the real ones. Where these guys have like they farm in the hill and they're growing all kind of stuff. And he's like, they plant stuff and they 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 take it to the market. Y'all watch that shit? What up, Jenners? B 
B-Boy Wagwan. Yeah, peace, no doubt. <laughs> yeah, Blu-ray Kachina, naturally, naturally. Yeah, but you guys been watching them, them shows with them people foraging and stuff and the farming. Y'all need to start watching that. Start programming your subconscious with that. I've been doing that religiously for like the past year now, or maybe more. Maybe like the past two years. Like religiously, just watching that consistently, just watching people farm and learning the different herbs of different countries and the different food people plant and the different ways, styles of foraging, building traps for like fish and stuff like that. Yeah, like fish traps and nets and stuff, hooks, how to make my own fucking uh, fishing rope, all that fishing line. Just watching this shit, family, literally just programming my subconscious with that shit. You got to program your subconscious, fam. Because the more of that you see, the more... Remember, everything you see, your mind remembers. There's nothing you see that your mind doesn't remember. Oh, no doubt. Bless, family. i hit you back in a sec. See, so it's like your mind remembers everything. So once you see it, it's actually in your memory banks. So you're just going to have to be able to access it. All right? And remember now, once their grid goes down... And we get more in contact with ourselves, more connected. You're going to be able to access your brain, all your memories. Not like now where you're locked off, you can't remember shit. It's not going to be like that. So the more info you gather is the better, fam. Because like everything you watch about farming and anything like that, you're going to be able to access it once the grid goes down. Yeah, your memory, your shit's going to be automatic instinct. You're going to be able to just do it. Then everything you saw, you're going to just do it. You're going to be able to do it. It's the mouth say you just have to start practicing and it's gonna it's gonna come easy to you. You're gonna be like, oh shit, it's just gonna be like a natural thing. So you you have to just pro start programming your subconscious. Watch all those farming shows, watch shows with the beach where people at the beach with the sunny water and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Watch stuff like that. Put it in your mind's eye. Like make your subconscious see that. Make it be home. Like make that your comfort zone, like always. Like your go-to. Anything, like the first thing you wanna see when you wake up is like farming right like nature trees and beautiful beaches and hills and mountains and, and birds and plants and stuff that's like the first thing you want to see when you wake up before anything else you get what i'm saying that's the first thing you want to see something beautiful that type of energetic and throughout the day like if you want to sit down and watch something that should be like your go-to watching somebody how you call it um help things grow you know Use that as an example. Watching people help things grow. Oh, wow. No doubt, Italian. That's deep. That's lit. Mr. Wonderful. Real talk. I tried to. And it worked well. What was that? <laughs> what you did? <laughs> uh, that's it. No doubt, Giovanni. Respect. Yo, my Italian. That's awesome. That's a battery you made. You made an earth battery. No doubt, Maximo. I didn't want to say because I oh it's not crazy. No doubt, no doubt, hold it down. Hold it down, it's a wonderful, that's lit. Just hold it down. You feel the energy, hold it down. Real one, big up. Z Zaya. Sunblock. <laughs> I guess program sometimes is what you want to have. Yeah, Jordan. Some good channels. Okay, so oh, um. Oh. What's my boy, man? Um the hold on the forest garden channel i think oh and here's one here's a good one but i don't even i can't even dude half of them are in like uh, vietnamese or, or chinese but uh, rung bung dong dang <laughs> okay there's one i like here um what's her face this lady she's in uh azerbaijan and her channel is village area V-I-L-L-A-G-E-R-I-A V-I-L-L-A-G-E-R-I-A -L -L -E Check her out Oh, Granny <laughs> From Azerbaijan <laughs> She be making pies and shit with all the stuff from in her yard <laughs> Yo, Ashe, bless The gate of this yak Ow! Yeah, she be making like pies and shit, family, and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> right in her yard in Azerbaijan, nigga. I'm like, golly, that shit looks so sweet. I'm gonna bake a fucking pie out in the yard, man. And then there's certain, I watch like fishing shows too. 
with cats like spear fishing and stuff i just do i like watching hunting but not hunting animals but like hunting the fish and stuff it's i i can let it pass you know i can get over it but i like watching hunting stuff like that like the spear fishing so i watch like Kinardo and nasa lynx dark dive um jamaica fuck jamaica adventures junior adventures junior lifestyle adventures um man there's so many great channels there's like ying there's this chick this chinese chick i think her name's ying <laughs> she's forager <laughs> i watch her ying i watch ying i think there's ying and a couple of them i watch yeah but just 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 yeah i'll, I'll get when i get home i'll get the, the all all a list for you guys well, let me see what i got up here so far yeah that's all i got so far for you guys right now but oh and jamaica vibes adventure is a cool channel Jamaica Vibes Adventure is a good channel. Yeah. Let's see what else I got here for you. Um, hold on. Oh, here it is. Green Forest Life. Robert. I like him. He's cool. But listen now. Listen. These guys are farmers and they raise animals. And they don't show him doing anything bad to the animals or anything like that. But he does sell the animals and stuff, okay? Just in case any of you are sensitive about that. He sells, like, he'll sell the animals and stuff. But he's not mean to them. He takes the best care of them. But he does sell them. And there's another one called Primitive Skills. That's a really good channel. Primitive Skills. Okay? No doubt is love. I will. <laughs> I make a proper list. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah, family. That's um. That's that's the meditation. This transmutation of uh. This all this negative energy they've been throwing at us this whole time. You know, turn it. You know when they say, uh, if life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. That basically that's transmutation, right? Oh, this shit froze, isn't it? Man, man. Oh, whoops. Hold on. Let me see a question here. So what about relations with those who took it? <laughs> oh, you don't know. <laughs> Shit. Don't fuck someone who took the job. Don't have sex with anyone that took the job, fam. Don't have sex with anyone that took the job. You'll get you'll get infected with it the same way. Yeah, solo blessed, no doubt. Mm, it's love forever. Yep, real life. No doubt, it's my Italian. No doubt, Shaheen. Much love, yo. Respect for that. The annoying one. Right, annoying one. Nah, you can't know. I mean, you're not gonna know, but fuck. That's what I'm saying. You have to use your discernment. You have to just. That's why it's crazy right now. It's not it's not it's not the time for all the mingling and stuff like that but you still got to get to know people and vibes you see what i'm saying and the truth will reveal itself what the point is now is you can't be dealing with that lust where you're like you're ready to just jump into it you know all that lust the one night stands and you know the quick hookups and all that the time for that is dead right now you're trying to build a foundation with whoever you're trying to deal with right now it has to be foundational type shit real level shit it can't just be on some goofy because you don't you have to, you have to, you know what I'm saying? Flesh things out. Right, Juicy? Is it my set? Rose, big up. Flash up, the annoying one. Exactly. Agua, yo, bang. This is not just a hookup. That hookup shit's gonna get you fucked up right now in many different ways because there's so many different shit going around. It's not just that. You see what I said? It's like crazy. You gotta be careful right now. Plus family, remember, man, what's worse, man, look. Even though it's just the same, but listen. A lot of people are carrying their spirits right now, heavy fam. All right? They're carrying their spirits or demons heavy right now. And the demons are frantic. So I'm telling you, they're sending them out everywhere to infect people with just demons. Because remember, when you fucking with someone right now, I'm telling you, you fucking, you're fucking their demons too. You see me? So when you see people off or something weird that you don't want because they're they're transmuting those demons to you as well it's not just 
the Jabberwocky. It's a lot of spiritual energetics going on. The Jabberwocky is just a reflection of what the fucks, what, 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 what type of atmosphere these demons are trying to create. You heard me, family? So you got to be careful with just that. You sleeping with motherfuckers that are, their brain, everything's not balanced, bro. And they, they got spirits on them. And you're sleeping with them and them spirits are jumping on you, dog. So you got to be careful with even just that. It's way deeper. The time we're living in, remember, family, the veil is thin right now. It's no time to be fucking around. Right? Right, Shaheen? <laughs> <laughs> Gemini <laughs> Real, the gem The Levite Because the Gemini is a Levite, really In the Hebrew is Levi, right? The Gemini is Levi So you're the Levitical priest The high priest Why are little ants coming from? Uh, did I, am I on an ants list? <laughs> They're not biting me, so it's cool <laughs> But yeah, fam Um yeah, you gotta be careful with all this shit because they're 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 releasing spirits on people. One, three, two, bang! They're releasing spirits on people more than anything else right now. You feel me? Fire, water, wanderlust. <laughs> exactly, it's a wonderful. Exactly, e insight. I'm telling you. I say, be careful out here, family. It's much deeper than rap. And like I said, once you once you can recognize certain things in someone, just make a good choice, make a good decision. Cause you don't want you don't want the demons that's riding them riding you. And after a while, it's it's gonna be hard for you to keep repelling it. You're gonna eventually get the energy on you, and you could tell because your attitude is gonna get like theirs to a certain level. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, you're feeling all their. Their negative emotions. All the dumb shit they suffer from, you're suffering from all of a sudden for some reason. You get what I'm saying? Like they're always down and depressed and in the dark. Now all of a sudden that's how you want to start feeling. Mopey and logy and, you know, they don't want to shower when they get up. They just mopey, logy, don't want to shower. Now all of a sudden you're feeling like that. <clears throat> they put their demon on you. Dynamic up. Ah, uh, Solo, my bro M. My bro M, sex of a uh, vax chick and been moving goofy since. Been too, uh, been too shade on my child. Oh, been throwing shade on my shop and saying Babylon never gonna. <laughs> he trolling you. <laughs> that nigga took the troll juice. That nigga turned to a troll, Solo. Damn. It is, Luis. It, depression is just in the mind. Depression is worried about things from the past. Ruminating on things from the past that happened to you that you don't want to get over because it hurts your feelings. So you're ruminating on it. It's just thoughts of the past. Anxiety is fear of the future. Arm up. What up? Rose. But I tell about it. Hello, man. Wagwan. The soul, the the sower, the soul. The, wait, the soul, the south route. <laughs> Bless three hundred five. What up? Big up three hundred five. We in the building. <laughs> Bang, yeah. Solo, that's wild, man. That nigga turned into a fucking troll <laughs> instantly. <laughs> you gotta be careful. Tell you gotta be careful. It's a parasite. I tell you, it's like a mind parasite. I promise you, it's it. it everyone who's every no, everyone who's took taking that shit. Remember, family, for you to have taken it, you were already shaky. <laughs> you were already shaky to begin with, and that shit just knocked all your screws loose. You see what I'm saying? No doubt, your body. <laughs> Yes, visitor. Sexually transmitted fucking demons. There you fucking go. Oh, oh, oh. Why do I do that to myself? Ah, I be sitting like that for like an hour, Indian style. Uh, it's all good. The body stores trauma. I have to learn how to release the store trauma. Yeah, Rose. Healing is a choice. Yes, you gotta release it. You can choose, man, to ruminate in it. Some people get addicted to that feeling. That's what happens. People get addicted to that feeling of sadness. They get addicted to it. I remember a couple times in my life 
when I was younger, I felt that, you know, when you feel that sad feeling, and and then I was laying down, and I, I remember one time, like, liking it, like, I'm laying there feeling sad, and I'm, like, liking it, feeling sorry for myself, and I was, like, liking it, I remember, it happened to me, like, twice, and I was, like, yo, what the fuck, I was so weird, that's what, that's what made me, like, just like no, I was like, no, this is weird. I was like, why did I like? I felt like I liked it. I'm I'm talking from experience. It's like I felt my heart. You know when you feel your heart swell, like it's that that feeling. You know what I'm talking about. Creative force. What up? And then I'm so I feel like I like that shit. I was like, no. I was like, this. You could no. It was weird. I felt like I liked it. Creative force. Been doing real well for self lately but i got plenty of shit to work on at times everything is bliss others i feel uh random fear any advice in dealing with spontaneous fear yeah creative force when that spontaneous fear hits you fam remember you gotta remember this it's not just out of nowhere spontaneous fear you're being under spiritual attack don't i want you guys to sit here and think it's just you uh just me no you're under spiritual attack depression is a demon anxiety is a demon Fear all that are forces. They are demonic forces for real. When you feel those things come, you have to consciously repel it. You have to consciously look at yourself and be like, no, this is not me. This is not my style, not my life. I don't believe in that. I'm a child of God. I'm shielded and protected. I'm not alone. You literally have to make it a mantra. That's what mantras are for. You have to make your mantra like, no, I am shielded and I am protected. Fear, flee from me. Yeah, man, you have to tell the devil to get behind you. You understand me, family? Right, Guaylo. It's true, true word. See, man, I said, family, you have to consciously chase the fear out of your heart. Mystic, this Jezebel just put a spell on me through sex magic. How do I break the spell for real? Give thanks to Jah. Go into your heart and tell the most high to crack that shit. Break that shit. Go in your bathtub and throw some Epsom salts in that shit. Throw some Epsom salts because that bitch salted you up because it's a physical thing too. Throw some Epsom salt in your, in, your, in your bathtub with some jasmine. You see what I said? And some, um, 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 what's the other one I like? Um, I said it earlier. Jasmine, uh, violet. Or some violet. Some violet, some jasmine, and some herbs. And, and throw your Epsom salt in the bath and soak up in that shit. And some rosemary too, some rosemary. You can just throw Epsom salt and rosemary if that's all you can find, because the rosemary you can just grab at the grocery store. And just throw rosemary and the Epsom salt in that motherfucker and soak up and wash off the saltness. And give thanks to Jah, bro. You see what I say? Yeah, man, seal up, go do a meditation, man. Block our reverence. You see what I say? For real, man, break that shit. No doubt, Ian Sight. Yeah, right, I, I am the divine warrior. Exactly. It's like that pain activates your heart chakra. It's so weird, and it makes you get addicted to it. Ah, uh harm. -huh. Um, yeah, anxiety is worrying about the future, and it's a demon. All fear is a demon. Depression is a demon. So anxiety, anxiety is you fearing things that you can't control. So it's, it's fear of the future. It's fear of things uh, happening to you out of your control. Fear of anything going wrong. That's really what it is. But it, sometimes for some people, it's some subconscious. Some people are conscious of it. Most aren't. But anxiety is fear of the future. That's what anxiety literally means. It's fearing the future, fearing the unknown. You understand me? But once you get... Once you live in the now and you realize you're blessed and protected and you have nothing to worry about, you can let go of that. And a lot of anxiety comes from in the past. A lot of us were in situations where, where our shit was topsy-turvy. We didn't know what was coming next. Any minute shit could get fucked up and we're in situations where shit did get fucked up out of our control. And then you grow up living with that fear because at any moment shit got bad and you feel like that could happen at any time, even when it can't, even when it doesn't. Because 90% of your fear of the future, the things never happen. The things you fear never have actually happen. 99% of it is just fear based on shit in your past. Like you, you, there are situations that just came up on you that you didn't have no control over that fucked you up. So now you feel like that could happen at any time. And that's what the anxiety is. I'm telling you straight, it's fear of the future. No doubt, Wolf Mom. Oh, that's all good. Right, Mr. Rosa Lady. 
Yeah, man. So my you just cleanse your body, man. Wash off with some Epsom salt. Wash off the saltness. Go in the ocean if you're next to the ocean. Wash off the saltness. No doubt, dynamic. It's not easy, but it's just something you have to realize. You have to look into yourself and realize that you're blessed, that Jah got you, and you have nothing to fear. Nothing's gonna happen to you. You're all right. You're protected. And then you know what I'm saying. And to slowly work through it. When you get the anxiety feeling coming up, you gotta consciously let yourself know, nigga, everything's good. There's nothing to fear. We're good. You see me? And then when the depression comes, the same thing. You gotta repel the beast. Like get off me. Get behind me, devil. I got nothing to be depressed about. My life is good. No, everything I did, everything that happened to me in the past led me to be the great person I am right now. So I'm just going to use that code and that energetic to become even better. I'm not going to make be sad over what happened to me when I'm here right now, shining and helping people and doing good in life. You feel me, family? You got to you gotta appreciate yourself. You got to look at it like that. Like, nigga, well, I'm here. Everything I went through, not because I was weak, it was because I was strong. Just like my ancestors. They went through hell that's why I'm still alive now because they actually survived that shit. They didn't break. If my ancestors would have broke, then how would I be here? You got to look at it like that. You're from a long line of survivors, not breakers. You didn't fold. Your ancestors didn't fold. You're from a long line of people who stood up to whatever they had to face. That's why you're still here. So you got to put all that into your banks, into your into your codex, bro, and know this shit, fam. You know what I say? Kimberly, bless. Ow. <laughs> Evoluti, Shaheen, let's go Dynamic, yep Rose the lady, you see me? So all that money you were going to take and give to your psychiatrist or your therapist you, Hey, give it to your boy <laughs> Cha-ching-ching -ching. <laughs> Rich bumbo cloud chop, you think I joke? Yeah, man In real life, man, tell the family I just, it's, it's, it's literally just you having to appreciate yourself In the now And that'll get rid of all your problems you realize you're God's child right now. Like you're a child of the universe. Yo, you know what it took to make you be here right now, my nigga? Mm. If you could only overstand that, that would help alleviate a lot of your problems. Just that. You could survive everything you're even scared of. Even the things you think you got you, you you're afraid of, you're gonna survive. So it wouldn't even you have no reason to be afraid anyway. <laughs> Anything, any situation, you're gonna survive just like your ancestor did. You're not gonna fold. You don't come from people who fold. <laughs> Mother Dragons, is it? Jarubi, what up? Get you some mystic teas, baby. Click the link in the profile description. Check out the website. Order you some herbs. This is real. And they're infused with my energy. <laughs> That's why they're so lit. <laughs> Giovanni. Yeah, the real pressure, Pete. You recommend burning ancestor money. Lisa, um... <coughs> I mean... Okay. Let's think about it now. Let me give you a second to think about that because it's a deep question. So taking some money and burning it to the ancestors? I, I don't see anything wrong with that. To me, that, that's, that's just you burning that shit into the fucking ether and letting the ether know that this is what you want. You're putting that code in there. <laughs> you're, not that. you're not shedding no blood or doing nothing weird. And it's not like, you know, you're not no false worship. You're not worshiping nobody. You're not, you know, it's the most high alone. You know, and our ancestors are, you know, we venerate and honor. And working together with our, our soul camp, that to me is just a code. It's like you're putting in a code. Because I've done that before. I remember doing that like years ago. You know, in my backyard of my mom's house, I burnt a couple dollars. I remember doing that. I was like, fuck it. And I pff, gave it to the universe. I was like, manifest more. You understand me? Put the elements out there. So yeah, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I don't, I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. But remember at the same time, let me just say this. At the end of the day, your natural inner power supersedes all that. It just supersedes all that. But if you want to use that as a, a little extra kick or whatever, I don't see nothing wrong with it. We're all shaming out here. We're all high priests out here. You know what I'm saying? And we all got ceremony. I don't, and that's, you're not shedding any blood. You're not hurting nobody. You're not giving nothing to no demon. No, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Right, Rose the Lady, yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna, yeah. Like I said, in my opinion, I don't see nothing wrong with it. You're not doing no harm to nobody. 
it's illegal and no look right here. That's probably why. That's probably why they don't want you to get into the essence of that. <laughs> right? Rose, I say. Wow, look. Oh. <laughs> B-boy, he's just joking around, B boy. I don't think he's being serious. Illumin. Fasting gang. Okay, so the faster, you wanna fast? Yeah, that's cool too. Purging gang. Everybody purge, everybody get ready for their purge. But I'm not, like I told you guys, I'm not a big, big faster. I won't lie. I fast like when I sleep. <laughs> and when I wake up, I break fast. I have breakfast. <laughs> I've never been big on fasting. Sometimes I just don't eat that much though. You know what I mean? I eat a lot sometimes and sometimes I just don't eat that much. But it's just balance. It's always balance, family. Remember, it's balance. It's balance. Your body, when you feel like you need to fast, you fast. We all do. B-Boy Eagle. Yes, it is. Rich and lavish. It's very good to fast. Yeah. But like I said, I fast, but intermittently. I don't like do those one week fast and all that. No, bro, I can't. Nah, I, just, I can't. I don't even want to. I do it like, you know, like today I might just not feel like eating today. And I just, I'll just be chilling. And I'll barely eat anything for the whole day. It doesn't be a natural thing, though. It's not something that I plan. It just happens naturally. <laughs> Kimberly. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just growling. <laughs> oh, dang. I go, no doubt. Chopping. That shit's still working. <laughs> Jordan, bless. No doubt. No doubt, Solo. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got, yeah, a lot of, uh, you have a fast metabolism. You got to keep up. Uh-huh. And you're active. Yeah, you have to keep up. That's what I'm saying. The more active you are, it's the harder it's the fast. <laughs> what up, guys? All right, bless. Respect to you. No problem, man. You good. Bless it. Yeah. Kim really over there starving. <laughs> eat your banana or something, dog. I swear to God, I like a piece of fruit. Man, hey, that's my problem. Once I get to that point where I start feeling that hunger... It's over, and I really start feeling that hunger. Oh, it's done. The fast is over for me at that point. I'm like, no. Yeah, Zoja, you're right. You're right. Coconut water is very good for that. Illumin, yes. Fasting is a great way to. Re uh, definitely, 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 definitely. I agree, hundred percent. That's what I said, hundred percent. Like I said, it's you do it how you do it for your body. Everybody's body. Remember, everybody, everybody does things how they do it. How they, you know what I mean? From your physiology. Everybody has a different metabolism. Everybody can't do the same thing. Everybody can't do the same way. A person with a slower metabolism can fast a lot longer than someone with a super high metabolism. You see what I say? Wow, look, <laughs> nice. Yeah, you see, that's, that's what happens in the vegetarian lifestyle. You gotta eat constantly. As far as I'm concerned, you gotta always eat. Cause you're not, you're not your body's not keeping in any waste you're not keeping in anything you're, you're eating it taking the nutrients and releasing so your body's constantly you got it constantly like a horse or like an elephant now you think about that right family you just think about nature in nature the animals the ones that live naturally that's out in nature right in their natural habitat they go out and they forage every day and eat as, as, as exactly as much as they need for the day, every day. You understand? Because they're eating natural fuel. It's not hindering their body or nothing. It's just fuel. So that's the point where you got to get to where, okay, put it like this, where the food you're eating is not bad for you, so you don't even have to fast off of it. See, that's the ultimate goal. One, three, two, fam, bang. See, the ultimate goal is to get there, family, where we're eating food that's helping us, not destroying us. So it's not, it's not like you have to purge because you're eating a bunch of shit and you know you have to get all these toxins out. We got to get to a place where whatever we're eating or ingesting is not bad for you. You see me? That's the real law. What up, Universal? I smoked DMT last year and transferred to another frequency. I was surrounded by praying mantis aliens, eight of them. I ended up on the table. They were shocked to see me, and I was shocked. Oh, shook also. Universal laws. I told you, yeah, it's a fucking hybrid. I told you. <laughs> Wave burgundy. Stop it, man. Stop it with the drinking piss business. I told you all about that shit, man. I don't hear that shit. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear none of it. I don't hear anything about the philosophy of it. 
I don't care. You got no, no, no. There's a lot. You just drink coconut water. There's a lot of better things you could drink to stop. Don't say that. No is love forever. Please, guys, stop with the drinking piss. That shit is a fucking ritual. There's no, it's not necessary. Please, I know they're pushing it. All these fucking dog, all these so-called woke vloggers. Yes, drink your figure, get turkey turk. Bro, that's a ritual. That's satanic. It's something that they make Satanists do. It's something they're forced to do. Eat shit and drink piss. That you do not do that. It's not healthy. <laughs> Listen, man. I told you guys this the other day. Just use your logic. You piss out your waste. It's waste you're pissing out. It's tantamount to eating your shit. It's not. There's nothing in there for you. They're lying to you. Right? If they're lying to you. Right, Joe? <laughs> Ja, ja assassin, you know ya tapo. Please guys, do not do not do that. That this is a big thing going around. All of a sudden everybody's talking about it. Especially you know, it's been for a while, but now it's like ramped up. Cause guess what? We're closer to the fucking gates to go higher. They want you to sink you down. You're not going through the gates drinking piss, bro. Think about it on a spiritual level, man. This is piss. It's a waste product. You talking about you don't want to drink fluoride in your water, but you want to drink your piss. Would you drink someone else's piss? What's the difference? Oh, because it's your... Just think. They make it sound cool because you're drinking your own... Oh, it's all right because you don't piss. But would you... Just think about Would you drink somebody else's piss? Like, piss in this fucking mug and let me take a swig. Like, yeah, I don't know. Bro, just think. You wouldn't drink somebody else's piss, so don't, why would you drink your own piss? Just stop. Don't let these niggas tell you this goofy shit, man. Fucking bear grills and these niggas, man. Yo, it's love. Don't do it. Don't. Yeah, I love my time. Don't do it. So the Dr. Sebi said that? God damn. That's why I tell you you can't trust nobody, bro. You can't trust no fucking body in this motherfucker. You just got to use your common sense. Fam, make sure you're not riding the short yellow bus, man. And make sure, nigga. Don't drink nobody's piss. Don't drink your piss or any piss, bro. Don't do it. Just think about it, man. Would you walk up to a toilet and dip your cup in it, take the piss? Why, nigga? There is no form of sanitariness to that. <laughs> no sanitation. It's not sanitary, nigga. Don't you don't don't do it. It's don't. It, it's just gross. Just just think about the process. It's not even cool. You gotta stand there with your dick out in a cup. <laughs> or if you're a chick, you gotta stand there with your vagina your yoni out over a fucking mug. Just just think about how indignified the whole ritual is. Just think. You guys, you were a chick. You over there, and you're a dude. You know, with your, your fucking holes in your hand. In a cup, in a mug, bro. And then you're gonna do that. Look at this hot steaming fucking pile of liquid and then <laughs> three fluid ounces of warm steaming piss. <laughs> just just thinking about that makes me wanna vomit, nigga. I don't know how anyone can even consider that. Please don't. This is what I don't like. You see, this is what happens. You see, this is what an agent would do. I promise you, this is what an agent would do. I, this is a good example. I'm glad this happened. It's a perfect example. This is what a fuck ass Bati boy agent would do. He would have you on here talking about all the herbs. Clark Cuts, big up. Talking about all the best herbs. All that righteous shit we just done talked about. Transmutation and you know what I mean? Becoming Christ like. And then all of a sudden he'd be like, yeah, you know. And also, one of the best things to purge you is, you know, a cup of your own piss. <laughs> That's exact. You see how that, that that's it. You just you just. Sh I hope everybody's watching this, paying attention. Family, that's the type of shit agents do. Simple shit like that. They give you everything raw, dog. Oh, raw, be jerky, dirt. And then at the end of the motherfucking sermon, it's yeah. And you know, after all them herbs and everything, you know, yeah, yeah. You just drink that piss. <laughs> like, come on, man. No, we do not do that around here, mob. We do not do that, mob. No, nothing weird, nothing deviant, nothing that's gross, bro. I have a hard enough time drinking wormwood, nigga. 
I have a hard enough time drinking wormwood. I don't even not need to go to the next degree. I'm okay. That shit that and and and, and piss has nothing can't compare to wormwood, okay? I'm just saying. I have a hard enough time with wormwood. Much less drinking a hot cup hot steaming cup of my own fucking urine. Man. Rose, what up, Giovanni? <laughs> <laughs> One love, Sharon. I'm cool. Giovanni, I'm lit, man. It's love, man. I'm lit, man. I drink some Ace 302. I drink the alkaline. Man, but don't miss me with that piss shit, man. No, I don't know where they coming from with this goofy shit all of a sudden. And they're getting motherfuckers to do it. And these people don't know they're condemning themselves. You guys remember that dude? <laughs> Who used to always talk about the North Pole and Hyperborea, and he was all real with it, dog. Fuck was his nigga name again, man? And he told everybody to do the blood over fucking, the blood over something ritual, put your blood on a shit, and and everybody's gonna go to North Pole. <laughs> I I came out screaming at everybody. I was like, please do not do this blood over whatever. Do not put your bloody finger on a paper and then give it to this nigga and then put it on a, a video. Oh, man, you know how I many people he got to do that? Because he came with all the real chop. Y'all remember this nigga, man? I forgot his name, but he was all North Pole. And he talked the realest shit. The Black Sun. All this shit, Mystic Chop. All this shit, but he's a white dude. Like, he's a weird white dude. Who got into a car crash and he died and came back to life, fam. So you know he came back with a demon. This nigga, this nigga sold his soul to come back to life, obviously. No, seriously, like in that Snoop Dogg videos and shit. Yo, they do that shit. To randoms, anybody could do it, right? Not Martin Kenny, no. It wasn't Martin Kenny. Zoji, you know what I'm talking about. Wait. The fuck was his name again, man? <laughs> oh, Mucus, what up, God bless? Yeah, they though they did a blood over something they called it. Mother Dragons, bang! Oh, black seed oil is awesome. It's so awesome. One love, Sharon. That's the best. I love that shit too. No, the Snoop video where his um murder was the case that they gave me. Watch that video. Shit, the whole video is him selling soul to Satan. He gets killed in the video, then he goes to the other side, and Satan comes to him, and he's like, yo, I'll give you, he says it in a song, I'll make you, and it, would I be the G that I was, and, 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 and. watch the video, it's Satan in there giving him all his shit back after he dies, and he's like, yeah, but when the time comes, you know what's what, that's the whole video, what up, uh, Saman Shams, Saman Shams, <laughs> what up, Les? peace by flesh. His murder was the case. That that whole video was Snoop Dogg selling his soul. These niggas ain't hide that shit. Yeah, oh, you, cause yeah, cause instead of just going, moving to the other side and chopping up, spiraling up, he sold his soul to come back and be a this shit and be a king. Giovanni, uh, murder was the case. Murder was the case. Ciao. Ow. Polish, uh, gross. <laughs> murder was the case that they gave me. Snoop Dogg, murder was a case. Oh shit, no doubt, peace. Yeah, real one. That's what I'm telling you, real one, Melania. That's what I'm telling you. They, they, that's what they do. That's what the shills do. They give you all the real chop, and then at the end of the day, they're like, okay, do a blood over oath ritual to make sure that you did this and you could come to Bribery Derp. And they do, make, then they make people do stupid shit based on truth. You see me? Yeah, man. No doubt, Giovanni. Up. The Woken Undead. No files. I don't. It wasn't him. Fuck. I can't remember. We're, maybe we're not supposed to remember. That's him. Files by nature. Wait. I didn't see your comment. Zion ain't that one. Just saw your video on these beings falling down. Huh? No doubt. Hell <laughs> it. I missed that. I didn't, I didn't see it. Fuck. Universal laws. Bless. Dang, I missed that comment. I didn't even... 
Because I guess I'm not supposed to remember that monkey's name. Quasi Luminous. Yes. <laughs> Solo. Quasi fucking Luminous. And listen to the name, Quasi Luminous. Why is it Quasi Luminous? Why are you Quasi Luminous? Why aren't you just Luminous? All in the name. Like, bro, goddamn. Yeah, that's the type of shit shills do, fam. Give you all that top chop and then come to you telling you to go fucking drink piss or give a, do a blood ritual. Get the fuck out of here. Tell them niggas to eat a dick, bro. Don't ever do that shit. Real with Melania, nah, because it's, it's, they got as many souls as they needed to get through that nigga. They got as many souls as they could get. They just worn out. That was a set of souls they got. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fabulous. So you don't know already. You know what the the, the deal is. You got to stay in your vortex, stay in your pattern, chop your code, follow your heart. Your heart won't lead you astray. Follow your heart, and follow the right your right mind, that voice in your head that tells you to write. That's it. Anything that counteracts that, you don't do it. You follow your heart. Uh, no doubt, visitor. Oh, for you, can see that? As I look up at the sky, my mind starts tripping. A tear drops my eye. My body temperature falls. I'm shaking, and they break in trying to save the dog. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Bang. Well, guys, go rewatch that video. Remember, we watched it when we were young, so we didn't, we didn't pay attention. Go rewatch the video, nigga. Oh, Rosa Lady, artificial chicken. Wow. Remember, they announced 20 years ago that they were putting cloned meat on the market. Cloned cows. All the cows would be cloned. Remember, that's one of the reasons they went at Cat Williams, because he put that shit on his whole stand-up. That shit was like 20 years ago. They put, they've been... They, all the meat people are eating right now is cloned. Wow, look, be a warrior in the garden, not a gardener in the war. <laughs> I love that proverb. Be a warrior in the garden, not a, not a gardener in the war. <laughs> Read my flash up. Tempt this. Again, um, uh, murder was the case. Exactly, Ophiuchus. Yeah, creative force, he sure did. Rich and lavish, y'all. <laughs> Mila, they ain't enough real meat for McDonald's. Exactly. Family, you know how many chickens they eat a year? Like nine billion. Nine billion chickens a year, bro. There are not enough chickens in the universe. There never was. Now they're announcing they're putting artificial synthetic chicken meat out. They've been doing that. They just announced it. There's no way. They, Nine billion chickens a year? Why does all the meat got to be cloned? Just think about how much meat they sell daily. Exactly. Not enough animal supply to demand. It's just possible. It's impossible. Nine billion chickens a year? No. Nah. No. Nah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nine billion? Family, that shit been cloned meat. Now they're just announcing it to make it legal. You understand? That's it been cloned. Why else could it be? <laughs> it's impossible to keep up with that market. <laughs> I mean, what I'm telling you. Piece by flat, just do the math. We don't have to get deep. There ain't no conspiracy. There's no way to keep up with that. <laughs> and that's... <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, Sam. Bless Iran. Oh, stay safe over there, Prince of Persia. <laughs> bang, bang. Is it? The Persian Empire in the building. Welcome, yo. Ow, oh, my brother, my sister, whatever. Bang. <laughs> Is it? It's funny. That's why, Giovanni, it's so funny you have to laugh. It's so sick you have to laugh at the shit. Josh Sasson, I never seen any type of meat truck or nothing. Right, I never seen any type of meat truck or nothing at these fast food places. Weird, he won't. He won't. 
You won't. You'll never see it because they get uh it's synthetic stuff that just comes in these boxes. It's weird pink goo and shit, pink slime. You know what I said? Mm, yep. It's it's nuts, family. It's like it's crazy out here. Wild. But like I said, family, we transmuting all this bullshit. Using it for our elevation and our expansion. And so, man, we're not going to fall for the okie doke like the rest of these goofy goyim, man. We up. We're the children of God. You see me? Yeah, man. The golden ones of the golden age. Oh, sight. That's new earth, family. You see me? So ride this wave, fam. Yeah. And uh, hold on. You see that? Bring a Bolstein? Oh, dang. I didn't bring a Bolstein, fam. Shit. We'll have to do a Bolstein late, late tonight. I'll do a Bolstein late, late tonight. But right now, family, I'm going to head out. I'm going to go to the crib. Starting to, the sun's starting to go down. I'm going to go uh, chop some, uh, you know, you done know some sustenance and stuff. And y'all stay up, man. Stay blessed. The session was wonderful. Thank you guys for the love. All the reciprocation as usual. It was awesome. Have a happy Friday. You see me? And I'll see you guys soon. Yeah, man. Rose, big up. Don, up. Cheddar, peace by flash. Yo. I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah, man. Give thanks, family. You see me? In the name of the Most High, I wish you all the most protection, the most bliss, the most abundance. Yeah, man. I wish for you all that's great in life, all that's wonderful. We break all false contracts. See me? Yeah, man. All false connections. Only truth and light exist in your reality and our reality. See me? I said only righteousness and only the codes that lead to our expansion. In the name of the Most High, you know what I'm saying? In the Christ's name, we pray that everything stay bliss for all in I and I. You see me? Always in the light of God, all the righteous ones. Amen. Bless. Thank you, family. I like that. I'll see you soon, you heard? Bang. Ow! <laughs>